but it's got a little uh, a little winning streak going right now. I wonder if it feels like you know you finally got a little bit of momentum and, and kind of building on something. Yeah, you know, just <laughs> getting that training in. I don't know, you know, uh, it's been going good, you know, and just keep that train rolling, you know. So I'm on a streak. I'm out here in Japan, about to knock off a bucket list of mine, you know. So it's just it's going good. It's going good. We touched on it right there, bucket list, man. I mean, fighting yeah. in Japan. Is, is this a, a big kind of special moment for you in your career? Yeah, you know, like uh, MSG was 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 pretty cool, but it was more so for me growing up boxing and watching all you know, like any other the really greats have you know fought at Madison Square Garden. So for me, that's what that was. It wasn't so much personal. This is personal. This is like got me into MMA, you know, watching Pry, watching K1, watching Dream, you know what I mean? These are the things that I watched the kind of, uh, what do you say, the, um, you know, the, like the guys that, that for the forefront guys, sure. you know what I mean, that, that kind of put MMA on the stage. So this is where I watched it, you know, the Saitama Arena. You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, don't get me wrong, I would still love to come to Japan if it was somewhere else, but... I couldn't miss the Saitama Arena. Like, that was like, if I had the chance, and I told Scott, like, dude, I was blown. I was harassing Scott, like, harassing Scott. Just, hey, just letting you know, I'm good, I'm good. He's like, well, let's just get through this fight. I was like, all right, all right. Right after the after Korshkov fight, I drove from Temecula. After, once when I checked out, me and my fiance went from Temecula to Vegas to a wedding, right? The, the wedding was a day after the fight. I, um, no, no, sorry, the day, I was, so oh, I fought Friday, the fight, was, the, the wedding was Sunday. So I flew, I drove out there, on the way driving out there, I was texting Scott. Hey, I'm good, I'm good. Just let you know, my body's good. I'm, I'm about to be in camp on Monday, so. I was harassed Scott about this fight. I, I couldn't miss this fight. That was funny. How's that gonna translate on the fight itself? I mean, are you, like, is that gonna add some excitement to you? Or will there maybe even be like nerves that you're not used to or haven't experienced in a long time? No, you know, um, for, lucky for me, my coach has kind of been game planning with me about how the experience is already. He's, ha luckily, he's had experience out here and he's had fighters fight out here. And the main thing is, you know, if anybody doesn't know, I'm gonna tell you, it's really quiet. And that's what he was like, you, you just gotta keep, it's, it's crazy. You're gonna kind of feel like you're in this. His last fighter that fought here, he said he just kind of felt like sparring. He was able to hear the coach so much that it was kind of like we were sparring at the gym. So I'm looking forward to that, you know? So if I could really hear, I already hear him, but sometimes, you know, I might back away from my guy and kind of be like, you know, okay. But hearing my coach's voice, being quiet, you know what I mean? Oh. There is no nerves. Yeah, of course. What do you think about the matchup itself? I mean, you're, you're facing a, a vet, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. What do, you, what do you think about Nakamura? That he's a vet, man. He's, he's, I didn't know. I just found out when I was doing interviews that well, I guess we're in the other promotion. Not giving you no plugs. No, nah. <laughs> we're in the other promotion at the same time. But I, his name never got brung up. But um, I watched a couple of his fights. My team has mostly studied him and... Uh, He's a tough guy, you know what I mean? It's just there's nothing that's super special that jumps out, but as far as durability and, and, and everything else, he's got it, you know? Yeah, sounds like the moment, you know, the fight is special, but talk about your career as a whole. I mean, it, it, the activity level, has that been a problem for you? Are you, are you, are you comfortable with it? And, and where are you hoping this kind of moves you forward? Uh, I'm uh, somewhat comfortable with it. Uh, I would probably like three times a year. Three times a year would be like, cool. Pretty cool. I can't fight four times a year because I live in California and taxes rate me. So three times is manageable. Three times would be perfect. So I, I, would, I would like to be really active next year. I always say that every year and, and it ends up being two fights. So let's hope for this, t this year to be something special. So knowing what a special night this is for you, I mean, mm -hmm. give me the idea. What's the ideal scenario? I mean, would you like to go out there and be involved in some kind of epic back and forth brawl that brings the crowd to their feet and they're going nuts or would you like to go out there and you know throw throw one punch and knock them out and call mm, it a day and not one punch 13 
I'll get <laughs> something, you know, I, I, I wouldn't want to end really quick, but if it does, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be disappointed. I'm not even gonna fake and be like, oh, I wish it would have ended, you know, later. No, if it ends early, then cool. It's just more time for us to have fun out in Japan. Do you, um, as a fan, do you, do you, do you remember, like, like, how did you watch the old Pride, old K1? Did you get my VHS tapes? Did you watch stream them? Like, what? No, on the internet, man. Uh, internet. I didn't have none of the tapes. But, um, yeah, just watching that and then watching, like, the Ricardo Rona ramp. You know what I mean? Like, those things, that, the, that or, uh, dude, I even watched uh, when when they, they robbed, they robbed, uh, damn, who was it? Who was it that fought Chuck? And, and they were beating Chuck. Uh, the, Mesger. Mesger. Yep. Mesger, you know what I mean? Like those fights, you know, I, I watched so much of Pride, you know, it was just, it was dope, you know? And then it, it's a, just any, anything, any type of interview that had to do with like hearing all the stories about Pride and, and, and when Crazy Horse fought, uh, 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 Vanderlei's the coach or whatever, you know what I mean? In the back and he got choked out, like all that crazy stuff, you know? So. I've always grew up being a fan of Japan, you know, as far as the f whole fight scene out here. Have you run across Fedor yet? No, but I've seen him yeah. uh, other times. And I know if it'd be cooler, like out here, every kind of... Well, it just, no matter where you meet him, it's just pretty, it's pretty... This is the first time I've seen a guy who has an aura about him. Like, a couple times I've seen him, I was just like, dude, that, that motherfucker's mysterious, dude. <laughs> 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 no, but he's... Yeah, he's... He's fucking scary, man. Anybody who wears a, a knitted sweater, dude, and... <laughs> well, I guess I... I guess. <laughs> I'm scary. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get my Fedor essence in, so, yeah. What do you, um, what do you expect from the, in the title picture of the victory? Uh, the, I'm, I'm the... No, 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 no. Yeah, you know, uh, everything goes good. Um, I would, Scott was already saying that, you know, I was the number one contender and that I'm in line for the title shot, you know, but get past this fight, but that's the plan, you know, uh, get that title fight rematch. Cool. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Thank you, sir.